For those who've been around uh, a long enough time to remember Windows 95, there used to be a neat little optional app that you could get called Power Toys, and it included various different user interface tweaks, including uh, the Tweak UI application, which I think many people remember. But um, it's obviously gone away. But what's exciting is that the folks at Microsoft have resurrected it of sorts uh, for Windows 10. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm thinking specifically um, some really neat use cases for people in the Adobe Captivate e-learning space. But I think anyone can use it as well. Now, full disclaimer, of course, um, it's not actual release software. It's sort of preview software at this point. At some point, it will become an official product of Microsoft. But uh, I've been using it for about a week now, and I find that it's really stable. So uh, check it out if you want. I'm going to go through some of the features today and share with you how you can use it. So the first feature I'm going to talk about is something called Fancy Zones, which I love saying, by the way. Fancy Zones is a feature that's ideal for Windows users who are continually working with multiple applications open. Once you've installed PowerToys for Windows 10, press the Windows key plus the tilde key to set up your Fancy Zones. First, you choose your layout from one of the templates or customize the fancy zone of your own making. You can increase the number of windows you wish to display. Use the plus or minus controls to increase or decrease the number of windows in your zones. Also, you can select show space round zones to give all your windows a margin from one another. Once you apply your layout, you can activate your fancy zone by holding down the shift key while dragging a window. You can snap that window to one of your zones using the faint outline that you'll see on your screen. Fancy zones are very cool if you are running multiple apps but need a particular layout for those apps on your screen. Plus, I just love saying fancy zones. The next feature is an enhancement to your Windows Explorer, uh, simply referred to as File Explorer. The Power Toy for File Explorer includes a feature that I think other Captivate users will appreciate. Presently, Windows Explorer can't show a preview pane for SVG files. SVGs are the vector graphics files that you can use to produce high quality logos or illustrations in your e-learning projects. The problem is that when you have a folder full of various SVG files, you can only guess as to which is the correct one you need at that moment. Selecting your SVGs in File Explorer with this power toy and your File Explorer preview pane enabled will display a preview of what the SVG image looks like before you import it into your work. The next power toy I'm going to talk about is Image Resizer. I'm continually downloading stock photography for my e-learning, and these files are typically too large to import into my Captivate projects. The Image Resizer Power Toy will allow you to select a bunch of images and right-click on the images chosen and either choose a preset size to resize to or a custom size of your selection. You can also use the Image Resizer simultaneously when dragging and copying a bunch of images to another location as well. The next power toy that I'm going to talk about is Power Rename. If you're like me, you have hundreds of files by the time you finish an e-learning project. Sometimes my understanding of the client and their project changes over time. Have you ever wished you could rename all those projects quickly and easily? Power Rename allows you to select a bunch of files and create a set of criteria for renaming many files at once. Let's say I named all my files with the name of the project when I really should have labeled them for the client. I can select all my files, right-click my mouse, and select Power Rename. Type the name of the project and replace it with the name of the company. There are about a dozen or so options that make this even more powerful as well. Next, we'll talk about Shortcut Guide. Windows has many Windows key shortcuts that are handy, but I can't always remember them. Some of them I didn't even know about until I installed Power Toys. With the Power Toys app installed, you can hold down the Windows key for a more extended period 
to display an overlay with all the Windows key shortcuts. For example, this handy overlay has taught me that if you press the Windows key plus the numbers 1 through 9, you can launch the applications from left to right that you've pinned to your taskbar. It's a very handy and fast way to start your most frequently used apps. The last power toy is Window Walker. If you're like me, you have many windows open at once on your computer. Window Walker is an app that lets you search and switch between windows that you have open. Just press the Windows key plus Control key to activate it. Just start typing the name of the application you want to switch to, and similar to how Google Auto Search works, you will begin to see the names of the programs that you have open. Use the arrow keys to select which app you want to bring front and center. I find this useful when I have, say, five or six different browser windows open, and it's difficult to see which one I need from the taskbar. I encourage you to try Power Toys out. You don't have to have a need for every single one of the features. Even if you've just got a need for one or two of them, it's worthwhile. And of course, it's absolutely free. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.